Hey, what's up everybody? I'm at the Chesapeake Bay KOA because, hey, it's a private beach. Looked like a lot of fun first time here. Um, I'm gonna give my review. We're staying in one of their RVs that you can rent. It's not my RV. You can rent one of their RVs, so let's check it out. Okay, first impression of the RV area. Um, does look a little beat up, a little unkempt. Uh, stuff kind of there. Um, they're kind of close together. A little bit older. Probably give you some cleaning on the outside. Tables. Hey, we're outside, right? We're camping. We're, we're roughing it. So let's go inside here. Enzo! Hello. Hello. Uh, so on to the right. We have a queen size bed. Yeah. We got some storage over here. Um, listen, I will say that this, this thing looks definitely uh, well used in here. Not the worst, but it's definitely used in here. Got some beat up blinds over here. Uh, bed feels hard. I mean, again, we're roughing it. Really can't complain. This turns into a, a bed, a single bed. You'll just pull it out from the bottom here. This is probably softer than the beds that we're going to stay in. So maybe if someone wants to stay over there. They do have a coffee pot. Um, looks a little used. So we brought our own Keurig with us. Uh, you got a dish drain over there. And here you have the dishes. And then we got a little three burner stove over here, cooking some hamburgers because we're kind of hungry. And I heard the restaurant's kind of expensive. Um, if the dishes are dirty, dishes are not washed under staff supervision. So don't blame them. You got yourself a fridge. You got some Trulies and water there. Hey, Enzo. Enzo wants to say hello, right, Enzo? Oh, he's looking at the vitamins. Uh, we have a lunch dinner table here. Um, again, a little worn, right? But. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Well, I left the door open. They got the AC up there. The AC isn't the coldest. Again, we're in an RV, so I'm gonna try to keep it as cold as Oh, let me show you something. You have the awning out here, and that's an electric awning. The button's right there. Close. There we go. Stay. <laughs> okay. And then this is your latrine and shower. Let me see if I can hit the button. It's this right here. So you do have a little tub. If you want to wash your kids, I wouldn't sit in the tub. I probably, I'm five four. I probably still wouldn't fit in there. Uh, you got some water there. Looks like they had some stuff on here and they replaced it. So there's some holes there. And if you wind up doing anything in here, there's like a pedal on the side that you press to flush. You okay? He's over there choking on a potato chip. But mommy's there to help him. And then you have these, I don't know if these are queen full, these are full, these are full size. You got one on the top and you got one on the bottom. Look at the, the great blinds that we have. Looks like somebody broke it, probably making love down at the bottom bunk over here. You know, feet, arms, everything gets everywhere, kind of breaks stuff. But man, this is hard as a rock. Um, so, I would suggest my aunt who's here. Tina said they're roughing it. I would suggest my aunt actually stay on that one over there tonight. But she was like, no, no, we're camping. It's good. But if I were her, I'd stay there. Um, so, yeah, that's the RV camper. Let's go over to the poolside and beach area. Looks like rain coming in. So we're going to check out the beach before the rain comes in. This guy, he's got a little taxi. He's got a maid in the shade. Right in the very back, you'll pass the cabins. There's a playground over there. For the little ones, like this man here. And you'll enter the pool area on the other side. They got some cabanas that you can rent. Umbrellas. Somebody's cooking something that smells good. I'd say that these uh, campers and all, these are crowded. They are close to each other. It's probably the most crowded campsite I've seen. All right, we got the parking lot over here, and there's the beach. I see the water. It's coming right up. And here we approach, well, beach access this way. 
you can bring your bike and all. This is the Jack Spot. The Jack Spot actually now has a full liquor license once again, as of a couple days ago, they said. But people still complain that the prices are a little bit out of the range for family dining over here. Yeah, I think we're gonna continue cooking in the RV. Beach is pretty nice. Yeah, this is really nice. Oh. Yeah, palm trees over here. You got some cornhole over here underneath the tent, a little shaded. Nobody's out here on the deck, probably because of those prices again. But hey, look at this view over here. If this isn't good enough, you look right through here. Well, insert 25 cents or more, who knows, for this. But it's the private beach area right there. Got to try to avoid all that. Uh, you can rent those over there, put those in the, the water. The water, I don't believe it's too deep. If you look out there, um, it just goes right up to your waist. So it is uh, very shallow for most of the way out. Hi, Enzo. He's got a shovel, he's gonna play in the sand. We usually go to Lewis Beach over in Delaware because that's closer to us each weekend. And that water's a bit chilly. This one's kind of warm. There, there's no chill factor at all with this. Man, they're living life out there on that float. We have a two-person float. We're gonna be out there tomorrow in hours. So we're gonna inflate it. I mean, it's supposed to be really nice tomorrow. So we're not gonna inflate it tonight. But we're gonna be chilling out there on our two-person float with it. We got a cooler in it and all. Um, it smells like it smells like the ocean it smells like crabs it's not bad it doesn't smell like dead dead fish or anything like that it just smells like it smells like the beach what you would expect a beach to smell like with sea life right i like it so i know i know the rv isn't the greatest but uh this this right here this right here is worth it ends i wanted to explore on this side of the deck The, the hammocks. This kid will, I swear, get out of your sight real quick. Started pouring outside, so we came inside, and every channel's like that. It's all staticky and fuzzy. Uh, every, every channel, and then the remote doesn't have the back, and the batteries must be dead because it's not working. Um, yeah, nothing. Do you have a radio up there, though, that works? And the speakers are up there. Does the rain stop back out here later in the afternoon? And it looks nice. Got all the lights out here They're playing music. Everyone taking photos over here. It's the photo spot. Everyone's taking photos, you know, this is where it's yeah, at right here. <laughs> Water over here is just waist deep, and right now, I wouldn't say, it's, well, last night it was warm. Right now it's kind of cool, but not cold, still. Hey, there's my son floating in his duck. Hey, Enzo. Daddy, daddy, daddy. I got the shovel right here. What are you going to do? you going to row your duck boat? water has gotten more shallow further out I guess like in the midday I can actually see the bottom you can see the sand and all the waves in the sand Enzo's over here trying to jump in his ducky boat yeah 
I know, this is great, right? All the people still standing out there up to their calves. I used this a little earlier for our float. Got some ice there, it was $4 for a 10 pound bag of ice there. What time is the pool open until 10 p.m. It's like a walk-in pool. What do they call that? When you just kind of walk in. Yeah. Nice little pool area. If you want to cool off, there's some dipping dots and some tips over there. We didn't see too many people using this area over here, but they have a hotel pool over there, which I don't know. Does it look clean to you? I haven't seen anybody over here. Actually. No. <laughs> and then they have a jump pad. This is probably the first time I've ever seen this jump pad being used this weekend. Check-in is at the Sunset Beach Hotel in the front. I mean, we're leaving today, but just let you know, this is where you check in at. And it's right at the front desk here. If you forget any firewood, they have it for sale. There's not much left. Over here, they got a little ice cream shop. And an arcade. So you can lose a bunch of money if you got young ones. And if you forget anything... They probably have it here. There is a ton of stuff in this shop, including Intex floaties that might sell out in most other places. Some of your camping essentials here. Stuff for your dog. Camping supplies, snacks, sodas. And if you're 21 and up, adult beverages all right so i enjoyed my stay here um so the accommodations maybe weren't perfect but it, it's a beach vacation right now. we're barely staying in the cabin the bed was hard i'm kind of yeah, beat up this morning but the beach is worth it yes the beach is definitely worth it <laughs> all right so we got a four-hour drive home uh we're out and we'll see you guys in the next video